Hi everyone and welcome back to day 48. It's still kind of nice outside although I'm freezing so go figure hey. Yeah I can totally tell we're into needing a shot and I interestingly looked at when the last time when I did that video when I was in bed and that was 28 days ago so it's almost exactly a month which is funny how you go on this sort of a you know wave I guess a roller coaster um it's almost like an experiment just you know you can be so good and then feeling so crummy um I've got a whole new symptom this time around it's kind of weird I've just got these spasms in my stomach all the time like like a really bad stomach ache just for no reason so I don't know but anyway I get my shot in two days so yeah I'll be fine then I'm still up and dressed and it was a struggle getting up struggle brushing my teeth taking a shower everything was like okay come on take a shower okay brush your teeth okay do your hair okay put on some makeup like it was everything I was forcing myself to do which normally I don't even think about it so that that tells you what your energy level is at so that tells me I'm really the positive is that I know my body so well now that I know this isn't the day to exercise that would be silly because then tomorrow I would be in bed so this is a day to craft at least that's what I'm saying and I'm, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I am just going to just kind of chill and listen to my body. And a one tool that I have, you probably noticed my little headband. This is not because I'm trying to be fashion forward. This is a tip for all you ladies out there, especially if you have dark hair and it's time to color again. Great way to cover those first few inches of snow that I'm sure you guys noticed in the video yesterday. Like I don't feel like coloring my hair today so I'm just gonna cover it with this bandana. This is one of those things it's like a, a full circle it's not really tied on so they're quite tight but what's really cool about it it's a breast cancer one but it's not in pink and it's just really cool my mom got it for me. Nothing yet. I'm just having a nice cup of tea to warm me up and um, I haven't had a shake yet but I'm finding that I'm just going to use bananas in my shake today because bananas are easy on your stomach. So I'm just going to have bananas and just a little bit of snacks in between just to keep the calorie counts up. But um, yeah, nothing wild and fancy. Um, last night we did kind of have a um, a really nice supper but it was kind of wasted on me because I had a stomach ache but it was I didn't eat all of mine we got there's a restaurant in St. Albert that someone had given us gift certificates to and Richard and I are such homebodies it's so funny if the restaurant offers takeout service we would rather take out and eat at home than get all dressed up and go out we're, we're weird that way but we're just homebodies and we prefer that. So this restaurant did that so we got um, jambalaya and rice and beans and stuff like that. So it was really good but again you know kind of wasted on me but he enjoyed it and he got to eat the rest of mine so that was good. I'm just being grateful that you know I know my body and I know I'm gonna have my ups and downs and dips and you know and so, um, although it, it makes me emotional, no, I, should, I don't mean it that way. The, one of the side effects is making you emotional. So you're more vulnerable and you can cry at, you know, the littlest, silliest thing. And, um, but that's all a reaction to the shot. Like it's all a reaction to the medication. And you probably notice my voice gets really raspy and hoarse and things like that. But I know my body. So... Honoring your body is knowing your body. You have to, you can't honor your body if you don't know your body. And I know this too shall pass. This is going to be over by Saturday. I'm going to be feeling great again and just chugging along like I've been doing. And yeah, 
So um, that's how I'm honoring my body, just kind of stepping outside of my body, observing what's going on and saying, yeah, we know what this is. Little bump in the road. It's like a rusty car. You know, it has its little dents and stuff, but you know it and you know it's going to keep working for you. And especially if I keep up with this um, Wellness Healthy program, it, each time you take a dip, the dip is a little bit less severe. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. I am going to finish my witch book. I love it. I want to show you yesterday, I didn't feel like working in my uh, craft room anymore. So I was just upstairs sitting by the fire being cozy. So I found all of these really cool from the Graphic Fairy, really neat pages that I'm going to put in my book. This one's just all on the anatomy of bugs. And this one's just a, a kind of a, I think it's a fly, but then it's like somebody sketched on the back of it. Like, like I've done a sketch to find out exactly what parts of the bug I can use. There's a, a cat. I really just wanted the cat and the broom, not necessarily the owl. Owls creep me out. And then of course, never more, never more. I did two of those. And oh, they had the best ones. Look at this, this from uh, a vintage book on anatomy. It has a skull. So I can't wait to play with all this stuff. Yeah, so that's mostly all I did. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I hope you guys, sorry for crumpling, hope you guys are having a wonderful day, doing something wonderful for yourselves today. And um, it's Monday, so tomorrow is Tuesday's tip, although I gave you a little sneak tip today with this. But um, yeah, so stay tuned for Tuesday's tips tomorrow, and have a wonderful day. Bye!